Hello and welcome back. When it comes to logic puzzles, students keep asking me this one question all the time. How do we select which statements to start with or which statements to use first? I have already discussed it in some detail earlier. So I'll advise you to watch this complete series in order. Starting right from the beginning, that's lecture number one. But let me just kind of reiterate and summarize it for you today. There are three criteria broadly. Point number one. Choose simple, affirmative, straightforward statements like A and B are sitting beside each other. A is sitting at position number 9 and similar ones. Ignore negative statements, something like A and C are not sitting together. Now a statement like A and C are not sitting together, how is that going to help you in the beginning? Common sense says it will not. We just cannot put it anywhere. So leave it to be used later in the problem. Point number two, among the affirmative statements, shortlist those first that are concrete, that can be put in the structure easily. Those that will not give you multiple possibilities. And finally, point number three, among the shortlisted ones, select those that are linked to other statements as well, because you'll need these links later to proceed in the problem. If you take care of just these three things, you would be able to minimize the number of cases you make and simplify the solution. Obviously, there is no one way to solve a question, certainly, as I keep saying time and again, but there definitely are good ways and not so good ways. So try to choose the good ones. In this tutorial, through this problem, I'll try to show to you how we choose what kind of data to pick up when we start solving a question. So let's begin. The problem given here is about 12 individuals who are sitting at a rectangular table, six along each of the two longer sides, as is shown in the figure. So half of them are facing north and the rest half are facing south. We need to figure out their seating arrangement on the basis of the 13 statements given in the problem. Now you should pause the video here and read the problem carefully. Attempt the problem first and then restart the video. You can also download this question from our website the link of which is shown on your screen. Now let's try solving the problem. The first step would be to make a structure like this. So it doesn't look like a rectangular table, but it'll serve the purpose. So six people from one to six are facing south in the upper row on the screen and from seven to 12 are facing north, the ones on the lower part of the screen. So as is generally done, the ones supposed to be facing south would be facing downward and the ones supposed to be facing north would be facing upward on the screen. So 1 to 6 facing downward and 7 to 12 facing upward. Since we already know which 6 are facing south and which 6 are facing north, let's put their names there. So we have written just the first letters of their names here to save space. So that's advisable. Now I would want to bring back the 13 statements we saw in the problem earlier. The idea is to show to you how do we select which statements to start with. Let's do this exercise. So we'll spend a couple of minutes here on these statements and try and figure out the methodology. Let's read them all one by one. One, Kafu is not sitting next to Henry. That's a negative statement that cannot be put in the structure, at least at this stage. Two, Kaka sits at the third position to the right of Suarez. This looks good to start with, but let's read the rest of the statements. Three, Gerard is not sitting directly opposite Kaka. Again, negative statement cannot be used at this stage. 4. Henry is sitting directly opposite Suarez. Not negative, but there are many possibilities. 6 possibilities to be precise. So I don't think they will be useful at this stage. 5. Gerard is not sitting at any of the corners of the table. Again, multiple possibilities not useful at this stage. 6. Exactly two persons are sitting between Pele and Iniesta. Again, multiple possibilities. That's pretty much like statement 2, but the difference here is that we do not know who is on the left and who is on the right. So slightly more complicated than statement 2. 7. Neymar is not sitting next to Kafu. Again negative, cannot be put in the structure at this stage. 8. Iniesta is not sitting directly opposite Gerard. Again negative. 9. Pele is sitting at one of the corners of the table. So that tells us something. But still there are 4 possibilities. If we combine this statement with statement 6, it might give us something. So let's reserve this. 
the combination of 6 and 9. Let's look at 10. Exactly two persons are sitting between Kafu and Messi. So this is again pretty much like statement 6 only. We may use this. Let's move forward and see what else we have got. 11. Gerard is not sitting next to Henry. Again a negative statement. 12. Neither Kaka nor Suarez sits at any of the corners of the table. Now this is interesting. We already have seen a statement, statement 2, which was about Kaka and Suarez. And this again is about Kaka and Suarez. It's a good enough hint. Let's look at 13 as well first. Best is not sitting directly opposite Gerard. Again a useless statement at this stage. So basically we went through everything and realized that the only combination that will work in the beginning would that be of 2 and 12. So we can start with 2 and then go on to 12. And that's how this works. So the combination of 6 and 9 could also have worked to some extent but this is definitely better. So now let's go back to statement 2 and start filling this structure up. Kaka sits at the third position to the right of Suarez. Let's say this is Suarez. Now we know that Suarez has to occupy one of the positions from 1 to 6 since he is facing south. That means he is facing downward on the screen. If Kaka is sitting to his right, his position would be 1, 2, here. So that's how it will look. But since there are multiple possibilities to place them in the structure at this stage, let's look at statement 12 first. Now it tells us that neither Kaka nor Suarez sits at any of the corners of the table. Look at positions 1 to 6. We can see that Kaka cannot sit at position number 1. And Suarez cannot sit at position number 6. Now we can clearly see that the only positions left in the structure for Kaka and Suarez are 2 and 5 respectively. So let's put them here. I hope this is understood. Now let's move forward and look at statement 4. It says that Henry is sitting directly opposite Suarez. It's a simple one. We can see in the structure that position 11 is directly opposite Suarez. So let's just put Henry there. Now look at statement 3. It says that Gerard is not sitting directly opposite Kaka. The position directly opposite Kaka is number 8. So that's ruled out for Gerard. Now look at statement 5. It says that Gerard is not sitting at any of the corners of the table. It means that we can say that Gerard is sitting neither at position 7 nor at position 12. And now look at statement 11. It says that Gerard is not sitting next to Henry. Now position number 10 is next to Henry. So that's also ruled out for Gerard. Now if you look at this row of people who are facing north, that's the lower row. There's just one position left, number 9. And that's what Gerard should occupy. So let's put him here. So now it looks like this. Let's move ahead and look at statement 1 now. It says that Kafu is not sitting next to Henry. The two positions next to Henry are 10 and 12. So it means that they are ruled out for Kafu. So now there are two possibilities, positions 7 and 8. So let's represent it like this. So the upper one aligns with 7 and the lower one aligns with 8. Let's look at statement 10 now. It says that exactly two persons are sitting between Kafu and Messi. Now if there are two persons between Kafu and Messi, Messi would be the third person to the right of Kafu. If we assume that Kafu is at number 7, the position of Messi would be 1, 2, 3. And if Kafu is at number 8, position of Messi would be 1, 2, 3. So these are the two possibilities. But if Kafu is at 8, Messi falls in the same cell that has already been occupied by Henry. So this is obviously not possible. Which means that Kafu has to be at number 7 and Messi at number 10. So let's put them accordingly. Let's move ahead and look at statement 7 now. It says that Neymar is not sitting next to Kafu. So it means that Neymar cannot be at position number 8. The only position left for Neymar is number 12 now. So let's put him here. And now we are left with just Zidane in this row. And the only position left is number 8. So Zidane has to occupy position number 8. So let's put him here. Alright, so let's go to statement 9 now. It says that Pele is sitting at one of the corners of the table. So the two positions possible are 1 and 6. So let's put it like this. The upper one corresponds to position 1 and the lower one corresponds to position 6. Let's leave it like this and look at statement 6 now. 
It says that exactly two persons are sitting between Pele and Iniesta. If there are two persons between Pele and Iniesta, Iniesta would be the third person from Pele. So if Pele is at number one, Iniesta would be one, two, three. So that's the position. That's number four. And if Pele is at number six, this is the position. One, two, three. So that's number three. Means Pele at six and Iniesta at three. So these are the two possibilities. So let's leave it like this and look at statement eight now. It tells us that Iniesta is not sitting directly opposite Gerard, but we can see in the structure that position three is directly opposite Gerard. So this is not possible. It means that Pele has to be at number one and Iniesta at number four. So let's arrange them like that. Now let's look at statement thirteen. It says that Best is not sitting directly opposite Gerard. It means that Best cannot be at number three. and the only position left then in this row would be number 6 so let's put best at number 6 now the only person left is ronaldo and the only position left is number 3 so let's put ronaldo at number 3 and with this we have solved this problem so that's how we do it no rocket science really just use your common sense and it should see you through i just hope i don't get any more queries on this subject in our next video We'll go back to circular arrangement once more, and we'll deal with a slightly more complicated problem, which will require merging two configurations, and that too with people facing different directions. So it's time to wind up the session now. We'll meet again very soon. Goodbye. Happy learning.